This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special, special guest today is a talented singer-songwriter from Greece. She goes by the Hi. name of Etoya. Miss Etoya, how are you doing today? I'm grateful. I'm great. I'm All right. grateful. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Like I said, at the time we're recording this, um, it's early in the morning here on the West Coast, and it's evening time in Greece. So I appreciate yeah, seven thirty here. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Me. Now you have a new single out called Pepper Dim. Um, yeah. We actually featured that on our website at bringbacksoulmusic dot com under our uh, new music section for uh, March and April. Um, yeah. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Because uh, I think it's an interesting story behind that. But before we do that, uh, tell us about Etoya. Okay. Um, my name is Love Etoya. I was born and raised in Greece. Uh, I'm a Greek Nigerian singer, songwriter, dancer, performer. My parents are from Nigeria. My dad is Asian, Urumi precisely, and my mom is from Benin. Uh, her tribe is Edo. So I'm so great to have uh, like uh, other three siblings. I'm the eldest. Um, basically, I've been singing, writing, and touring for a very long time. I was a former front woman for a local band in uh, my hometown, uh, Thessaloniki, Greece. Uh, sold out. I was there for like three years. But from 2019, I started going solo. And right now I have my own musicians and I have my two singles out, Pepper Dem and Party. Okay. Um, like I said, we'll get into your music in a little bit. Um, so did you come from a, a musical family? The truth is that before uh, anything about singing, um, my family likes to dance, especially my mom. My mom taught me how to dance. And I was in love first with dancing. So we were a family with a lot of music, a lot of music and a lot of dancing. So after dancing and my mom teaching me the Awilu dance because there was a certain dance. And she loves watching MTV. So from there, when we were watching MTV, we were seeing Aaliyah, Destiny's Child, Christina Milian, and from there, I just knew that that's what I want to do. It was a love at first sight. So basically, music all my life. Okay. And how old were you when you decided this is what you wanted to do? Um, professionally, I was around 15 when I took the courage and I said, that's what I want. Okay. Um, so you said uh, Destiny's Child and some other artists. Um, yeah. What was it about those artists that um, attracted you to uh, to want to do this? Um, their star power, the way they command the stage, the voices, and the way they light, write their lyrics. Like, that's what I say that I'm a singer and songwriter, uh, especially Beyonce made me to like go hard and want to own my stuff and want to write my own stuff. So seeing black women doing that inspired me to like, want to write my song, want to create and just go hard and perform and bring out something different as a Greek Nigerian and to represent my culture and to represent all the black women like me. Okay. And that sort of ties into uh, Pepper Dam. Yeah. Um, you said it's an anthem uh, for empowering women, especially yeah. women of color. 
Yes. Explain that for me. Okay. Pepetem is like a slang word that they use in Nigeria a lot. Um, the Nigerians understand it more. Uh, when I said Pepetem is the reason why I write this song, I, my brother, and my parents, uh, it's more of my own story. Um, black women are always downgraded. They're always minimized and always portrayed as the angry, angry women. So in my own life, I've faced that a lot of times. So the thing I'm telling to my black women is just to pebble them. Like, if you tell them that you can do something, do it better. Work hard better and just pepper them don't need to retaliate or do something bad or negative to that person just you say i can do that well i'm gonna show you i'm gonna do that i'm gonna pepper you by doing it better that's what i mean okay uh let me ask you a quick question um yeah. now i'm not familiar with greek or uh, greek society um <laughs> is that so I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to how black women are treated in greece as well is that the case? It's not only in Greece. Like I said, I know it's my story. I was born in Greece. So basically, yeah, I faced it here. But I'm trying to talk to a lot of women all around the world. So I can just say that it's only in Greece. But for my own story, yes, it was in Greece. Okay. Um, okay, very well. Thank you uh, for explaining that. Now, um, Pepper Dam, um, when was that? That was released when? This year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was released on the 5th of March. 5th of March. Okay. And how is it doing? Um, are your fans sort of uh, taken to it or how does it, how's it been? The thing going? is that I was really um, nervous putting out Pepper Dam because uh, it was a secret. Uh, my French producers and I produced the song. We, I and my brother flew all the way to France during the pandemic. So I was like, I wasn't sure. People haven't seen that side of me. And I, w I didn't know if everybody was ready for me going so hard to represent and with the artwork and everything, because the artwork, the clothing, my dad did the whole thing. Um, and my mom, she's the hairdresser and everybody helped with the lyric video, my siblings and my brother did the photograph. So when I brought it out, I was so shocked that a lot of countries really supported me. Um, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Ireland, uh, Europe, UK, United States, Bulgaria, Lithuania, a lot of countries. So I was like, wow, I, I didn't know if they would really understand what I meant, but it shows that music can really speak to people yeah basically i'm just happy how the whole thing is flowing <laughs> okay well congratulations on that um now you spoke briefly about how the pandemic sort of affected uh, this song coming together um is greece um on lockdown or is it starting to open back up or here in the um, u.s is starting to slowly open back up um but how is it over in greece uh right now um there's some measurements that are a little bit loosen up so um it's a bit starting to start over again shops are beginning to open so it's going gradually gradually it's it nothing is fully open right now until okay. the government say so all right and so there's no obviously there's no live performances or stuff like that no 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 <laughs> okay especially with that <laughs> we'll continue our episode after this message are you looking for a reliable way to transfer money to family and friends check out the cash app it's safe easy and convenient just download the app from the apple or google play store and start receiving and sending money in a few minutes sign up today and receive five dollars and don't forget to use our referral code bgrc wqx Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. All right. How are, um, are you um, doing performances online or how do you keep the word out, particularly since this is such a new 
a new song? How is that? How are you promoting it or how are you letting people make a, making people aware of your music? Well, right now, um, the thing is that I have a lot of years to put out a song, like a studio song out. So this is like my debut, debut songs, uh, Pepper Dem and Party. So I'm just like giving the world to, with this quarantine and different kind of things that's happening, I think right now is the best time for people to just take uh, time to rest and listen to what I have to say. Uh, basically, I'm just like promoting my songs to different kind of stores, uh, Spotify, just for people to really sit down and understand. And I put out lyric videos. I just uh, yesterday I put out my party lyric video. It's all full of different kind of visuals for everybody to understand what I'm saying. So basically, uh, I'm trying to interact with my fans, with my music, and what I have to say right now, because I've been touring for a long time, and thank God, 2020, I felt like I was very lucky that I toured before the heavy, heavy lockdown in Lithuania. So they had a little bit of chance to listen to me live. But right now, I just want to speak with my music. So it's available everywhere. Even Spotify, Teaser, Apple Music. ITunes. Okay. Are you doing the um, the Instagram and the Facebook Live and stuff like that online? or? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Honestly, I, I, I don't like doing um, live streaming because I'm a person that likes connection. And sometimes it feels very awful, like just can't see that person just talk like that. I, I don't like that, but that's how it is right now. So I just got to flow with it. Yeah. Hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, later on this year, we'll get back to live performances and stuff like that. So I guess just be patient, I guess. Um, now I read your bio that you sent and you had another single. I think your first one was called what you got, babe. Maybe? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, I think it was, I think I read it was 2015 or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a long time ago. Um, my it was I and my brother. Oh, your brother. Okay, okay so that's the Li feature. Yeah, it's okay. a search for, for life feature. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, and how did that do? Well, I the thing is that. It has some like thousand views because uh, there's a video clip for it. Um, it went well for its own era at that time. So it was a different sound of mine. I was still experimenting and I was being influenced by different kind of genres at that time. But when I'm performing it right now, it's a different kind of thing. Like the arrangements of how the music what you got baby is on the live shows it's so way different how it is right now in the studio version okay um you said that was your brother is your brother a performing artist as well yeah he is an artist he has his own collaboration he is studying in uk um recording and music stuff so he's an artist too he has a voice a great voice for that matter <laughs> okay um now in your bio you said you you well your music is sort of described as r&b afro and gospel um so those i assume with those are some of the influences you had earlier um now did i read that you have an EP or an album coming out later on this year? Uh, the thing is that, yeah, um, I don't really want to say, <laughs> but I'm just going to say that the best is yet to come. That's what I'm going to say. It's just that everybody should just keep streaming my songs. And whenever something's going to pop out, everybody's going to know. So I don't want to jinx nothing. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um, now, you are you an, an independent artist? Or are you signed to a label? Or how do you? Oh, my God. I'm an independent artist. Independent. Okay. All right. Um, 
why don't you, um, well, let me ask you this. Um, now we, we talked about Pepper Dim, uh, which is an anthem for empowering women. What do you hope um, people get out of your music? Um, what I want you to get out of my music. The thing is that I want, from Pepper Dim especially, I want them to be empowered. Um, there aren't any Greek Nigerians, there isn't any Greek Nigerian female artists right now, especially from Benin and Ishan that really stands out for the women. And I wanted to make a difference to be the first Greek Nigerian female artist to like speak out and empower my all black women and all women especially. So I don't want to like specify just because it's my own story. So that's why I give uh, more credit to the women of color. Um, I just don't want them to feel that they're not seen because black women are beautiful and they need to be appreciated. And for party, I love dancing and I just wanted everybody during this quarantine and the whole pandemic thing to just dance and leave all the negative vibes. So yeah, I came here to tell my story, tell my truth. I'm not gonna write anything fake, whatever I'm gonna put out in the future by God's grace is gonna be a spin of me, a lyric of me, and my whole truth. Okay. Now, uh, you mentioned that you're a uh, Greek Nigerian. Do you go back to Nigeria and perform as well? or? Um, I haven't ever performed in Nigeria. Really? Okay. But I've been to Nigeria. I was in Nigeria uh, 20, uh, I think 2018. And the first place I went to was uh, a place that I call my church and it really uplifts my spirituality. It's called Synagogue Church of Nation by my mentor, Prophet T.P. Joshua. So he, he is the reason why I keep going because a lot of times this word is not easy and I just feel that maybe I can move on, but he really, with his sermons, I just keep on going. And also, going to Nigeria, I just got that smell back that, oh my God, these are my roots. And I see a lot of people and my family members, and it's different kind of Nigerian food. We do eat Nigerian food in Greece because my parents are Nigerians, of course, but it's different when you go to the homeland and it's the typical dish. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's, uh, let me have you, uh, um, tell people where they can reach out to you on uh, social media. Okay. So, um, Hey, you can all stream my song, first of all, on Spotify, on, uh, iTunes, app music, uh, different kind of, uh, platforms and buy it also on Bandcamp. Uh, but you guys can find me on. TikTok, Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, <laughs> Instagram, the whole same name, Love Itoya. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we'll have uh, Itoya's information on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com and also in the show notes of this video and also on the podcast. Um, anything else you want to add, Itoya, before we, uh, before we let you go? Um, first of all, I want to say thank you. For this invitation and I just want to tell the world that this whole thing this whole um journey we are right now is gonna be over someday it's just that we just need to uh take something positive from this whole thing and know what is really important that our faith don't need to go down right now is how we need to be stronger and love one another because in the end, love wins. All right. Itoya, I, I, I have a I have a funny feeling that you're gonna be the next Greek sensation that comes out <laughs> of uh, Greece behind Giannis. Um, you. But you're gonna 
I think you're gonna. I think big things are in store for you. If you haven't checked out Etoya's music, check her out on Spotify. You can also go to our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Like I said, we feature Pepper Dam on our new music section. Uh, Etoya, I really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was really great. Glad doing this interview. I'm glad we had a chance. We have been going back and forth for what would you say over a month? Maybe a month and yeah. a half. Yeah, like <laughs> we have. It's true. <laughs> So I'm glad we finally got this. Uh, we finally got a time where we both can feel good yeah. about it. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, one fi- Any final words before we let you go? Uh, keep streaming my music. Pepe Dem and Patty is available, available on all platforms. And follow me on all social media. All right. And that's Etoya on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. And we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. But that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Etoya. You can find out more about Etoya on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com as well as her social media sites. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Check out all our latest merch at The Soul Shop at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.